five senses. Come on, everybody. Excellent. That's right. We know the senses because, like our friends and fellow primates, the monkeys, we possess them ourselves. Are senses important? Oh, yes. But many of us often think of senses too simplistically, as merely the ways and means to enjoy life thoroughly. Without giving it a second thought, we relish the sight of a prospective mate showing off his or her best qualities. We all enjoy hearing the sound of a good singing voice or hearing the familiar sound of a friend calling our name. Who doesn't savor the delicious smell of a favorite food? Or, when we too were infants, the sweet scent of mother's milk. And taste? That's got to be a favorite sense of everybody's. It's one thing to smell that yummy morsel, but another to chew it. Then to savor it on our taste buds before swallowing. And touch? Who doesn't like the comforting touch of a friend or family member? In the animal world, the senses are far more than just the means to enhance pleasurable experiences. It's through the senses that animals survive. There are two main strategies of staying alive. Does anybody know what they are? Find food avoid enemies. Find food and avoid enemies. Got it now? After those two essentials have been attended to, well, there's time for having a family. Exploring the world. And playing with friends. Or just thinking deeply about the complexity of the universe. In regards to the senses, nature is the great compensator. Depending on where an animal lives and what it eats. Take for example this magnificent black rhino. He has very poor eyesight. Does that put him at risk for predators? Heck no! Just look at him! He has no natural enemies except, unfortunately, man. The rhino is an herbivore, or plant eater, so he doesn't have to have good eyesight to hunt prey. He just sniffs out his meals. Rhinos also have terrific hearing. Take a look at those ever-alert ears. In fact, knowing which scents or senses in an animal are the strongest or the most highly developed will tell you a great deal about how the animal lives and survives. Take a look at this rabbit, and this reindeer, and this horse. Notice any similarities? Animals that are preyed upon have eyes placed laterally in their skulls, so they can see almost 360 degrees without moving their heads. Prey animals, or those animals high on a predator's meal ticket, don't have very strong binocular vision, so they don't have very good depth perception. But they don't need it. Their eyes are designed to notice movement anywhere around them, so that they can flee at the slightest hint that there might be a predator lurking nearby. Predators, like these big cats, have more forward-facing eyes, which gives them the ability to pick out the details in a landscape. A 
a useful feature when stalking and chasing prey. So, between prey and predator, who has the distinct advantage in terms of the sense of sight? The slam dunk winner in the best eyesight contest is the predator. Birds of prey, to be precise. <laughs>